evening to you. Thanks for joining us tonight here on MTN News. I'm Donna Kelly and I'm Kevin Stanfield, a suspect in a jewelry heist ring that made its way across the entire country, made an appearance in court today. MTN's Cody Boyer reports that one of the places the gang hit was a jewelry store in Bozeman. Bozeman City Police say this case goes further than right here in downtown Bozeman. They say back in January, four different people all came into here, the Alara Jewelry Shop, and that's where they had at least one person pose as a lookout, but one Pilar Montserrat. She was arrested and held now on $250,000 bond. And this has happened in multiple places, multiple states. State after state, store after store. Detectives like Sergeant Joseph Swanson say the group Pilar Montserrat was the lookout for targeted Bozeman for a reason. They weren't stealing sweatshirts or t-shirts. They were taking jewelry, electronics, items that were worth thousands of dollars. They just seemed like average customers. That's where Alara Jewelry on Main Street comes in. We had noticed there was a group before that came in, so we were chatting with them, you know, greeted them. To assistant manager Michael Webb, it seemed like business as usual. One of our uh, other workers in the shop was showing them some yeah. rings, you know, and we thought everything was good to go, and then they had left. It was all a ploy so they could get into these cases, including this one here, grab what they could, and make it out. And according to detectives, this is not the first time. We had noticed that there was some stuff missing from one of our front cases, so um, we looked at the cameras immediately. In less than four minutes, detectives say Montserrat's group store over $7,000 of jewelry. They also hit the Bozeman REI, raising that total of stolen goods to nearly $12,000. I've been doing this for a while. They're, they're very good at what they do. Swanson says Montserrat's group's thefts from REIs in Washington, Oregon, Colorado, Idaho, and beyond could range up to $60,000. Yet, Alara's cameras helped ID at least two of the suspects, including Montserrat, something Webb says is a note of satisfaction after a multi-state crime spree. Not only was it the cameras, but the investigator, I mean, the work that he put in multi-state was pretty impressive. There's definitely a sense of satisfaction. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News. As for the other suspects, one man is being held in Minnesota, two others are still at large.